come in the house, changed her clothes. She told me that she was going back upstairs to her friend's house, and that's the last time I saw her. I told her, I said, Jenny, she's five years old. Well, she has a mind of a 10-year-old. I said, I don't care about the mind. She's only five. The mother was also reportedly involved with a sex offender who's been questioned by police. Leaving a five-year-old child alone. You've got nieces and nephews that age. What about it? I don't know that she was under any condition like he may have been to stay away from younger children, but certainly she could be criticized, Nancy. I didn't and say criticized. With, I and said char charged. If I can charged finish. for child and neglect. And charged with some type of neglect. Joining me right now, the five-year-old little girl's biological father, Shane Inahosa. Sir, thank you for being with us. What more have you learned? Have police told you anything? Have you learned anything more about the investigation? Um, no, they're not telling me anything right at this moment. Um, I, a detective did call me this morning, and uh, the only thing that they said to me is that they're, they're still searching out there, and the, um, the cops, they did put a... Uh, a twenty thousand dollar reward out so mr inahosa do you know where they are searching for five-year-old nevaeh um all that i know they're searching everywhere in monroe county um woods ditches um creeks um everywhere that i could think of could you explain to me do you know anything about your ex failing the polygraph both she and her sex offender boyfriend failed the polygraph yeah she did fail one question um the question was uh are you still involved with george kennedy and she did fail that question so that's the question she failed not anything about nevaeh no what was the question he failed i i have no idea i haven't heard anything how did about you that find one. out that was the question she failed um she told me jennifer told me okay and you're taking her word for that yeah uh-huh. Okay. What does the grandmother say happened the day little Nevaeh goes missing? Um, she, she, I haven't talked to her. Um, she was at work, so she really don't know. Okay. Who was keeping the child? Who was the sole caregiver that day? Um, Jennifer, and she had a friend over, and they were the only two at the house at the time. A friend. Who was the friend that was over? Um, her name was Lisa. That's all I know. Okay. Is your uh, ex working? Is the mom working? Jennifer Buchanan, is she working right now? No, she's not. How does she support herself? I have no idea. Well, then how's the baby supported? Um, the grandmother. The grandmother works and she supports the child? Yes. Where I does the grandmother of. work? Um, she works at Food Town. I feel that it really doesn't matter. Not all offenders reoffend. Um, no one ever knows if a person is a sex offender or not unless they are labeled right when one anybody could be a sex offender he was labeled jennifer buchanan and you subjected your five-year-old little girl to him back out to matt zarell isn't it true that one of the persons of interest is actually complaining and wants an apology from police? Yes, James Easter, the third person of interest, is demanding an apology. He says he was targeted by cops and that he is he was put in a horrible cell with no bed, no pillow. He wants an apology now.